Sonic, the heart of your system. All right, guys, Dominic here for Kitgo. I am joined by Stanley Wen from Edifier, and today we are looking at the new speakers from Edifier. It's the S3000 Pro. So, Stanley, why don't you just give us an overview? Obviously, we're familiar with the S2000 Pro. What can you tell us what's new with the S3000 Pro? Uh, well, they are of the same category. Actually, it's a studio monitor. Okay. It's uh, for the close field, for the near field uh, sound representation. And, uh, it, you know, it's a S2000 throw when, when it comes to the market. People seem to very like this kind of a, this sure. product. But, you know, it's a 5.25 inch uh, sub mm -hmm. and a planner, magnetic planner tweeter. It's this kind of a speaker uh, structure. And okay. we, we, we want to go actually a small, one step further than this to give people more like more base ten, base extension, more bigger sound image. That's, and, and give people even more uh, convenience. I okay. think we think that this might be the future of the, the the active monitor, studio monitor in the future. So that's why that's why we introduced 3000. Mm. We put all these things into that product. Like the you know this products have a 6.5 inch sub, which is you know it's larger size than 2000, 2000 Pro, uh, 2000 Pro. Sure. And the, we keep the planner, but change the whole. Okay. You know the horn uh, will just you change the you know reflection character of the mm. the tweeter the high frequency parts. So practically speaking, what kind of um, you know noticeable differences does that make to the sound output compared to the S two thousand Pro? Uh, it's you know more base extension and the power even you know three times the power output of the the amplifier is three times of the two thousand two thousand okay. Pro. So you get you get actually. Uh, larger sound image okay. and more and deeper bass. Okay. And as it's a 2.0 speaker system, we obviously have just got the two units and there's no subwoofer, but you were telling us before that there's actually no cable to connect the left and right units. How's that done instead? Uh, actually, uh, it's done using the proprietary uh, wireless to transmit audio transmission modules uh, in master and slave speakers. Okay. Uh, we done a very accurate delay in the master side and to make the whole system output in a, in a very in a sync way okay. and so to keep the sound image you know the, the wi this, this wireless technology is the, the bandwidth is very high it's 22 mega megabyte bandwidth which is more than sufficient to transmit uh, you know intact audio So compared to using a cable, are you actually losing anything? No, you're not, lo okay. you're not losing anything okay. through these wireless connections. Okay. And uh, when, when you're talking about this 2.0 system without sub, I think this uh, the two 6.5 inch sub uh, or middle middle sub unit of mm. S3000 that's more than sufficient to represent any of the the base content of an of an yeah. audio. It's more okay. than suffi so sufficient. So on a technical level, I remember you telling us before about the specific type of actual um, drive unit that is. Ah, yeah, the driver unit is a uh, you know it's built with quality uh, structure. You know the the bas the speaker basket is is now you know die casted uh, al aluminium. It's you know it's a unique aluminium uh, alloy. And uh, the magnet structure is overhunt, you know, overhunt, overhunt structure okay. give you more deeper, you know, long, long throw. Mm. It's a uh, more excursion out of, out of the. Then the other way would be doing it is uh, underhunt. Un underhunt is uh, you if you use that kind of structure, uh, you know, you get more dynamics, but uh, okay. the, the 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 depth of the base is not as. So no. with the S three thousand Pro, it's kind of going to be a slightly more a more bass driven sound. Than if we'd gone with a underhung. Uh, another way to say that we think that this S three thousand is is small capable of represent of uh, recreating the big sound image like okay. the movie, like the you know very big game scene, sure. something like that. Okay, so it's kind of more of that cinematic like kind of atmospheric sound rather than the musical, yeah. dynamical. Okay, okay. And moving on to the cabinet, what is what's that made out of? 
Oh, it's uh, it's it's solid. It's solid. Uh, it's not real wood, but it's a uh, very solid, high density, uh, you know, fiber wood. Okay. It's a back ported. It's a, it's special shaped, oven shaped back port, mm. and give you very less, very less, almost no wind noise. Okay, excellent. And as well, you also told us about the new planar tweeter. Yeah. How has this been tweaked or uh, changed? It's, it's actually uh, the tweeter is is similar to uh, as the S three thousand Pro, S two thousand Pro. It's a patented technology from our you know uh, our uh, partner, Mr. Mm. Phil Jones. Okay. Uh, it's it's patented U.S. and uh, we we actually we uh, sort of heritage the the same magnet uh, magnet same diaphragm but only change the horn size okay. the horn size give you a better reflection of the high frequency okay so a bit slightly more detailed than yeah previously okay yeah, yeah, lovely yeah. yes and so when we know this product's been announced in china before but when's it coming to the uk and what pricing can we expect uh, I think we will launch it uh, early next year, uh, which is 2019, okay. and at a price point of uh, £6.99. Okay. And so at £6.99, who is really the target audience for this, this, this kind of speaker? This, uh, this is a very versatile system, has m multiple inputs, can connect it with your, uh, with your uh, music station, and also can connect, it, it has a, a high resolution USB port. Can okay. directly streaming uh, uh, sounds from your uh, PC, from your laptop. It's you know it's a pure digital, and this the system is high res, compass already uh, high res certified, okay. which you know this whole digital part can go up to uh, 19, uh, 192 k, mm. uh, you know this, which is a high, very high yeah. resolution. So it's a, it's a very sufficient. Also the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth uses CSRs. Uh, the the uh, Bluetooth version five. Okay, re sense. it's a receiver. Yeah, can and also the the second support the second decoder of Aptex, which okay. give you almost you yeah. know better yeah. better sounds than the traditional SBC uh, codec. So I'm Dominic Forkit Guru. I've been chatting with Stanley Wen from Edify, looking at the new S3000 Pro. If you like this video, you can uh, leave us a like and a comment below. Let us know what you think of the new speakers. Would you be interested in picking them up, for instance? And you can also subscribe and hit that notification bell to be reminded of all our upcoming videos.